This episode of A News is brought to you by Ting, mobile that makes sense. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Alex Farnham and this is Animalist News. Now things happen in the world that are so sad, animals must even want to cry, but what if they can't? Take dogs for example. Have you ever witnessed your dog weeping when his favorite toy was lost? No, you haven't. But nothing says that dogs can't physically produce tears. Most animals can, yet they don't cry like we do. Case in point, caimans cry, but it's not because they're emotional. What's actually happening is air forces its way through the reptile's sinuses where it mixes with tears and then pours out into the eyes. Now that's not nearly as heartwarming. For animals to cry human tears, it would require an eye anatomy similar to ours and a brain structure that can process emotions. So even though dogs are social and have similar eyes, they don't have a wide range of emotions like humans. We, on the other hand, have hundreds of emotions because we can reflect on the past and think about how we're gonna feel in the future. Humans can even get emotional about fictional ideas such as movies and books. I got one time in Lion King. Sorry, it gets me every time. Simba. Although dogs don't shed tears, they kind of cry. I suppose it depends on what your definition of crying is, but many animals do make sounds to let others know they're upset. No, don't cry. Sit. Think about it, most animals don't have as good as eyesight as us humans do. However, their ears are much better than ours. So a mama dog will respond much faster to a whimpering baby than a teary-eyed puppy. Also, lots of animal parents don't keep a close eye on their young. While your mom didn't let you cross the road until you were like seven years old, other animal moms leave their infants for days. If a baby is out of sight, tears are not going to do anything but a loud cry on the other hand might get a parent's attention. Either way, researchers have discovered that most baby mammals and birds will cry when being separated from their moms. But again, it's less of a, oh, I miss my mommy feeling and more of a, holy shit, I'm alone, don't let me die. Elephants are one of the only exceptions to this rule. Calves, much like human infants, will shed tears because they're stressed out. In fact, in 2013, a newborn elephant wept when his mother stomped on him and later abandoned him. While that's not as emotional as crying because you lost your job, stress is an emotion. They can even understand and relate to another individual's pain and suffering, which is even more complex. As elephants get older, their tears reflect feelings of sadness and mourning. Not really a surprise considering they are also one of the only animals besides humans who bury and grieve for the dead. So why are we some of the only animals who really cry? Scientists have many theories. One is that tears keep the eyes wet and therefore free from harmful bacteria. Another suggests that crying shows aggressors that we mean no harm. But the most popular theory is that tears and other nonverbal clues are simply essential for human communication since we can't hear very far. Now let's take a second to thank Ting for making our show possible. Ting is a new mobile service that only charges you for the time you actually use it. It's actually a pretty sweet service. They don't lock you into a contract or even make you pick a plan. So go to anews.ting.com and click on the savings calculator to see how much Ting can save you over the next two years. And remember, every visit to the link helps support Animalist News. So what I want to know now is when was the last time you cried and why did you cry? Let me know in the comments below. Check out these other episodes over here. Subscribe and come back every day for more Animalist News. See you here in Mammals next time.